So now the belt. So we're going to be working with the plastic belt, the drop boxes. So, and then also I need the little buttons too. But right now we'll get the buttons in a little bit. So I'm just going to make in the middle, just a guesstimation, I'm going to make holes, three holes. Each middle part, um, the end, both ends, and the center. And these are holes are just big enough for the rivets. this belt. Um, if I'm not mistaken, TK Kittle made this. So what we want is the outside, the piece where it folds over and it gets tucked in, that's the outside. Usually both sides are tucked over, but for some reason this one isn't. So this one's going to overlap over. Just like that and you won't even tell. So what I'm going to do just find the middle of this belt. I'm going to put them both together. Here's the middle. So I make a line. There's the middle of the belt. I'm going to put it back down. You can see where the middle is. And I'm going to come through. And I'm going to make a hole right in the middle. Make sure it's in the center. It's going to smell like marshmallows, but it won't burn the belt. We've done it many times like this. It will char it a little bit, but it's all going to be hidden. So instead of rubbing it, because rubbing it will make it like charcoal. So I just put one in, and then I just put it right in the center. So I'll just use these three screws right now just to keep it from moving. So there's one, then I lined it up. Next hole will be there. Keep it lined up. Next hole will be there. So that'll be all three holes. careful when you do it. If you see it burning, make sure you get that, that area that's burning out before you use it in rock. So these are perfect little holes for the rivets. And move that to the side. You bring the, this is the hard part. You bring the belt up. Halfway point, put that middle button right there. We're going to keep it to where it's flush with this part right here where you put the add button. So the add button's going to go there. So you want it right up against it. So that line right here, you're going to hold that where that hole is, it's going to be right there. You're going to come through here and see where your button is. Everything is lined up. You're going to 
feel where that button is. You can figure out where that middle spot is. And that's where you make the hole. So I got the one figured out here. So it's going to come from the inside down. So this way, snap it in. Mark the line where the center part is. Double check it just to make sure. Snap it off. Pull that in. Bring it towards me a little bit. Okay, got it. Burn a hole. Turn it. The other side. One more time. Okay. And again, this is the outside part, so you want this snap to go in where the big chair is. Two big doors right there, top part. You're going to snap it in. do is you can take this on and off after you've done snap those. I turn it around and I'll put a T on the inside so that way when you go to snap it in you know this is the top. But I would recommend you snap this in first before you put your armor on because uh, it's easier to snap it in instead of trying to put it on while the armor's on you. So there, there's those snapped in. So now what we're going to do is rivet these in. So once we rivet these in, then we can do the drop boxes next. So what I usually do is just barely, barely, I'm talking barely, you bend these just a little bit. I want just a little bit of a curve, so don't go bending these really a lot. So now you can tell without me bending it at all, it's got a slight curve in it. So now what you're going to do, get three washers and three rivets, and then two rivets for the drop boxes. Does the size matter on the rivets? No. 
doesn't matter. You can go big or small, whatever your preference is. The main reason is because everything is going to get, these are going to get hidden by the little um, buttons that you put in there. These right here, when you rivet them in, they won't even be seen from the, from the back, only from the front. So now, you just put the rivet in, put it in from the other side. So I do the center one first. Put your washer in from behind. So do the center one first. That way, in case you put the belt on backwards, you can turn it. And I just use something hard to hold the rivet down so I can do it with one hand. And bring the other side. And I have this on. It's like, if I it on right. You put the rivet in. Put the washer in, come through, same thing, one, one here, and then on the other side, one more time, put that in, put the rib washer in, so, other than not having the boxes on, now your belt, your belt is done. So, again, there's the top. You know this is the top. So you set it down. You set down these. Give me the white elastic over there, please. So you got two rivets and two washers. White elastic right there. So you come with the one inch white elastic. Is that braided? Doesn't matter as long as it's elastic and white. I like using the braided. It looks to me it looks better. You're gonna come through. So you're gonna be in between where you did the washer and where you have the snap on both sides. So you're gonna bring it through. And then you come down. So this part right here, the drop box should be touching the belt, so about like that. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit shorter. How long does it hang? I just told you, this drop box will touch the belt. That's how low it hangs. So you're just like that. Now you're going to get this piece. So you want this edge right here, this edge, you want the drop box as close to that edge as possible. So you're going to put it like that. Just going to make a quick hole. And you're going to make a hole here. So the hole doesn't have to be very big, because again, you're using a washer, I mean a, a rivet. Get rid of all this excess. It's just nice and circular. So now you're going to leave the outside part off. You're going to come in here, and put it through both elastics. Push it through the drop box, the bottom of it. You're going to put the washer on and then you're going to rivet it. So you want to try to get these elastics together. Come in there. And then later, you can glue this drop box in so it'll be hanging as close to that edge as possible. And then if you want to, to keep it from moving around, you can uh, glue this drop box or the elastic to the belt. And then you can also glue the elastic to the drop box to make it uh, stronger. Because this, I haven't had one fall off yet. 
but to make it all stronger and for all of it to sit in there properly, I would glue this whole thing down. So you glue it on the, both these elastics together, and then you glue that bottom elastic to the drop box. And then you also glue the drop box, the inner to the outer. So that's one side, not the other side. Do the same exact thing. Bring it in. Make a loop. All the way to the edge, to the edge here. All the way to the edge of the belt. Make a little bit shorter. One thing I forgot to do with the other one is burn the ends. I don't want these things to fray on you. So once they fray, they just keep going. Okay. So now we're done with this. Now we have it as close to the edge as possible, up to the bottom of the belt. Just going to make a quick hole. Make another hole. Be careful when you do it like this. You don't want to burn through one drop box and into the other. E6000 them because the other they don't fit very tightly so you got to drop a lot of glue in there and they just sit in there tape them on there and about 24 hours it'll be done so you can wear if you do want to do a hand solo you could just wear that belt separate all right the next piece we're going to glue in the sides snap here glue in the side one up there once those two are glued enough and we're going to glue these in so here's the Center one. There's a center one. Just like that. So the next thing we'll do is glue this in here like that. And then glue this one in here like that. Take off all the pencil markings. Just glue them in just like that. This one's a little bit harder to glue in because there's not a lot of gluing surface. Make sure that the ends are flat. So when you do glue them on, it doesn't have a gap anywhere in the center. And also, make sure you glue this on correctly. This is Return of the Jedi. We're doing ESB. So we'll glue those on, and then with the shoulder straps, you'll notice this has a curve to it. When it sits on somebody, this does not have a curve to it. So you can either heat this up or just do like I do, and very slowly bend it in. Again, you don't have to do a lot of pressure, just enough to get it to start bending and making that little bit of a curve to fit the shoulders. So after a while it'll start getting a little bit softer. And you just want it to curve around your shoulder. They do the same thing with both of them. 
the more you curve it here before you glue it on, the easier it'll be for you when you do glue it on. Because it is a pain in the butt to try to curve this after you've glued it on. So before we glue these on, we're going to glue pieces of plastic right here on both ends. So we're just going to glue a piece of plastic in here and we're just going to make this flat instead of trying to glue this little bit right here onto the flat part up here. We're going to have a flat piece glued in there so we have more gluing area. So we're going to glue those in, and we're going to glue these in, and we're going to glue these in.